in honor of Kenshin Studios' um, 10-year anniversary, I will do two things. One, we'll be able to go to figure at the very end of the video that I made. And two, sing a song. I'm not going to sing any song. I'm not going to sing the Grey song because I did like a cup of that like a while ago. I'll be singing You Fight Me. Because that was the first song that was in that 2017 trailer for Rapid Pirate, which was epic as hell. Set the atmosphere for And to be honest, I would have loved to see what that would look like as a film. That film was so cool. If they got rid of the God's Law, the Mecha God's Law, just change a few things, scenes of graphics, just kept things from the original idea, that would have been cool. See, it would have made Rapid Hybrid even better than it already is. Like, I love Rapid Hybrid. It's my favorite fan film out there. But anyway, with that said, let's get into the song. Magic Remote, do your thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me, me, lonely face I found. Light in the end, I live well in the lines that I, I have found. It's coming down, so you know. I don't know what is in me, but it's easy to beat me, so you know. Life is sink or swim, love is blinding, no surviving. I don't know what a world to be, yeah. That I can show you that I need to see this. The lies, the sunset, I'm on your side. Can we live a life of peace and happiness? I don't think so. This is how, this is how it's gonna end. Mm. Oh, this is how, this is how it's gonna end. This is how, this is how it's gonna end. This is how, this is how it's gonna end. This is how, this is how it's gonna end. This is how, this is how it's gonna end. Ah, oh, 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 did my best. So if it sounds like shit, <laughs> I don't know. I don't like my singing voice that much. I don't know. Never heard myself sing before. Anyway, that said, I'm going to show off that figure that I made. That I made like last night. And I finished painting last night. The one. And only figure of Kuda Jira. The one and the first of its kind and the only of its kind. Legit the only of its kind. It's the only one of its kind. Kuda Jira. Yeah. 
I decided to make like a custom figure. I will admit, I wish I did better on the paint job, but give me a break. This is my first custom Kujira figure. I wish I did a little bit better on the paint job, but for what I did, it was pretty decent. And for some reason, this part right here comes right off. Like the only thing that's not making it come off is this upper part right here. But this part right here is like about to come off. It's like a little bit loose. Like probably fits out with a couple of super glue. But it's a good Kujira figure. Like you can see the Kujira resemblance. Like look at the face. I wish I could have given a better detailed face. I wish I could have done something about the eyes. But you can see Kujira in that. You can see it. Yeah. I just love this creature figure. I wish I did a better job with the mouth. Like, the mouth just was like broken teeth. Because <laughs> I tried so hard just to paint the mouth. Now it just looks like he has fang, vampire fangs with a couple rows of missing teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish I could have done a better job on the mouth. I don't know how else you could have done a better job. I know I'm this legit my first time painting doing a custom figure. So yeah. I did amazing on the sculpture, I just didn't do that well on the paint job. Well, now I'm cleaning the skin, like the paint well, I don't know. I know many people I know when I showed my sister this, she liked the paint job. I just gave like a repaint, make it all around the figure. Like the the only parts that don't have paint on them are the paints that are covered. Or the parts that are covered on the figure. Yeah. In hindsight, I should have probably painted the figure first before putting this part on. It would have made it a lot easier. It would have made it a lot very easier. But what I did was pretty good. The one and only Kudajua figure. A one of a kind. Legit a one of a kind. I also love the way that the bottom feels once you painted the figure because now the bottom feels so soft. It feels so soft. But this is the one of its kind. The one and only Kudajua figure. I'm probably gonna have like Nico and the crew sign it somewhere. I don't know where, but just sign it anywhere. Sign it in red paint. <laughs> just put like Kenshin crew. Or just put. I don't know where they're gonna sign it though. But honestly, don't know where. I honestly, don't know where. I should have probably painted it different colors so you can see the paint. <laughs> But they'll have to sign it in red and just maybe just put it on the back. Just put it on the back. Okay, maybe not the back, but somewhere on the figure. Maybe on the belly or something. I don't know. Probably on the tail. They're probably gonna have to find some red paint. They're probably gonna have to find like a red pen, just red permanent marker and just paint it and just sign their names on them. Very small, but sign them. Or just put them on the foot. Like the jet, I want them to. I can't wait for them to come to Jeep. Oops, and that's the problem with this freaking figure. One parts fell off, but it's not really important. The first of its kind, a custom Kudame, custom Kuja. Turned him into Kudajira. Also, the only articulation thing, the only articulation this thing has now is the legs. It's, okay, maybe a leg, because this 
one can barely even move. Because of all the paint I did on it. This one's a little bit stiff, and this one, yeah, I just love this figure. But with that said, congrats for Kenshin Studios making it to the 10 year anniversary. I'm impressed. Anybody wondering when that Godzilla World Apocalypse remake is coming out this year? Hmm. I thought it came out this year. Hmm. And I'm still waiting. It probably come out later this year. <laughs> I kid. I kid. <laughs> but with that said, this is Anagogy Sign Off. Remember, stay big, Kenshin fans.